everybody, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is a little last minute, I guess. So you guys would probably have seen, I think it was kind of close to the end of March, I decided to switch back into my Teresa Collins A Beautiful Life blush binder. So recent events, I did order the Pink Anna binder, which will be coming. Um, I think it is pre-order up until April 11th, which they'll be shipped out, I think it's April 11th, which is, you know, in... Eight, eight more days. So I didn't really want to be in a pink binder when the Anna binder is going to be coming and I'll probably switch into that one for May. So in the midterm, I did order this binder. Um, I will link my haul video. So I had done a haul video where I ordered some Franklin products as well as my cloth and paper subscription box for March. So I'll link that for you. Check it out if you want to. I did express some concerns about this binder, but I'm pretty sure I want to keep it because I really do enjoy the color. Um, it was more of a summer binder and I was excited to, to have something different to my collection because I feel like a lot of my colors of my binders are very muted. They're very toned down um, and I wanted something vibrant and bright as well. So this is going to be my summer binder for now. Uh, we're gonna use it for April. I'm gonna switch everything out of this binder. I also have some weekly inserts that I wanna add. So I did get these plain blank Franklin Covey um, weekly inserts. So I'm gonna show you how I set up my week because today is Sunday. So I'll set up the week from Monday to Friday. Or, well, Monday to Sunday for from the 4th to the 10th of April. But we are going to move everything over first. Now, this bind, like this whole binder is really, really tight fitting. So I don't know if there's anything I can pull out of it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see because uh, I just, I don't know if everything is going to fit in the zippered binder. So let's go ahead and do the switch. I'll probably speed this part up. If the wind could spread your love, what if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Okay guys, so I think I think that does it for um, the things that I'm adding in this binder, okay? So I took out a little bit of the frilly stuff, like I had a lot of pink stuff. Uh, I took out some of my Ollie clips. I just, uh, I can only do so much pink. I really do love pink. Purple is my favorite color, but I also love the, like to me this binder, it's the golden binder, it can be used as a summer binder because it's bright yellow or golden I guess um, or it can be used as like a transition into fall um, I have some purses that would match this so nicely um, now the thing I want to do is show you I want to go to schedule go to the weekly section I did add this week overview from cloth and paper that I just got in the March subscription box um, but the thing I actually want to show you so today is Sunday, uh, it's pretty much the end of the week. So I'm gonna pull this old one out because this is the the current week, the uh, weekly plan with me you guys would have just seen. 
So I'm going to pull this one out, maybe, I don't know, to save a bit more room. We'll see if that helps. And then what I want to do, um, I want to add these new weeklies, but I don't know if I want to add them in between or if I want to like skip this whole like decorative section and add them behind or in front. I think I wouldn't mind adding it in front because, and I don't really need this. Like I wanted to try it out. I think I'll still keep it in there because I can just put like what my batching tasks are for the week as kind of an overview. But these, um, I won't be using these monthlies and they are undated. So I can really use them whenever I want to. I bought two packs. They are quarterly. So they're each three months worth. So I have half a year's worth because like I said, I bought two of them. And this is the first week here. So yeah, I just, I don't want like, thankfully the monthlies are separate from the weeklies. Like it's not like you have a month and then you have the weeks and then you have the month and the weeks. Uh, let's see, is that one page or two? That's one. So that's the master task list on the back of the month. I don't need that because I already have that with my Teresa Collins inserts, but I do like this where I can give like a list of all my weekly tasks and then I've got the week. And I also don't need the entire um, three months in there either. I'm just going to use probably one month worth. That's one, two, three, four. And I'll probably just fill them out as I go. And then I'll have these in front. So I'll have the overview. I'll have this weekly task. I won't be writing this out today, but I'll show you guys how I fill this out, okay? This gives you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I also like at the bottom where it gives you a list for daily tasks. Um, but I'm probably just going to put like the top three important things I have to do. And once they're done, I will check them off. So I'm just going to leave one out and I'm going to fill it out outside of the binder. So I'll put these in here, just like that. Oh, I also want to show you the pens I'm using. So I'm going to use my Tombow Twin Tones to fill out my weekly schedule just because it's kind of cool. I don't have to use black pen. I mean, you can, but I really like bright colors. And because of this whole yellow theme, I'm just going to go for it. I'm also switching my pen. So I'm currently using this pen to go with my pink binder. But because I am no longer using a pink binder, I'm going to switch to this one. This one was, was it either Here Comes the Sun or maybe this was a different kit? I can't remember, but it was from the Simply Gilded subscription boxes. I recently placed an order on Simply Gilded when there was a huge sale and I got a whole bunch of refills. They were only $2 a piece, which is super awesome. These pens are so beautiful and even my mom likes the way they write. I'm not sure if you can see this up close because it's hard, it's hard to see, but this has such beautiful sparkles and it's kind of like this beautiful pinky peach color and it goes to this beautiful vibrant yellow that kind of matches this binder. So I knew it was the perfect pen to use. And of course we do have two pen slots. This Ollie clip is probably in the wrong spot. So the pen will go, I usually keep my pen on the right side and then I'll keep this marker on the left side. And I don't know if I'll keep the orange one too, maybe just the yellow one for now. So let's quickly fill this out to show you how I use it. And I thought I lost my April cloth and paper, um, the little clear card, but I found it. So that was good. I have some extra business cards. I'm just going to see if I have room for in my planner. So yeah, I won't write this out yet. We'll come back to that after. Um, for right now, I'm just going to fill this schedule out. Um, I'm going to have to refer to my week because I can't remember quite what I have going on. I do know my son goes back to school. So this is the last day of spring break. So I'm pretty sure he's, he's sad. <laughs> he doesn't want spring break to end. But uh, I'm, I'm a little sad. It's, it's bittersweet for me. I'm sad but I'm also happy because it means we get back to a regular work schedule. So the, the dates will be April 4th to the 10th. I'll put it on both of the pages here. The year is 2022. Um, I don't love undated inserts, but in this case, I don't mind it because 
I just want to have a week at a glance and I didn't want to commit myself to a whole year of one color. Um, I do like the blooms, but I don't really think the blooms are going to go with this particular binder. And what if there's a binder in the future that I get that it doesn't really go with, you know? Um, so I like this for now. I'm just going to see how often I use them and then we'll go from there. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to fast forward this part as well. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back and I'll quickly chat about it when I'm all done. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this really well, so I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit and hopefully I'll be able to zoom back out. So this is why, like, for me, a schedule like this is seriously just an overview because my days change so quickly. Like, my daughter might not go down for a nap, things might not go to plan, I might not be able to film videos. So, like, currently, she's awake right now, she's here, and you can't really hear anything in the background because she is being extraordinarily good. And watching her iPad and just being super quiet but there are days that are not like this and she's yelling and screaming um, so I kind of lucked out today for this video because I'm actually busy uh, Sunday I'm trying not to do work today but it is a catch-up day because I kind of uh, took it easier it was a Wednesday Thursday Friday so uh, thankfully I got this all done and this again general schedule so I know for sure that at 8 o'clock around that time I take my son to school um, when my husband is home Wednesday, he'll probably do it, but I still make his lunch, I get him ready, um, and then I also get my daughter's breakfast ready, and then I get to work. So Monday, Tuesday, he's not home yet. Monday, I'm going to work on my goals, which is basically just a lot of journaling stuff. I want to try doing my commonplace book. Tuesday, I need to work on my stickers because it is the, usually always Tuesday I'm able to, to work on stickers, but I do want to get a couple of things done because the last week or two I've been procrastinating a bit and just taking it easier than I should. And then Wednesday, my husband is home, so we'll be working on the basement. And I don't know why I didn't put that on here, but that needs to go here. Okay, so yeah, so just an overview schedule. It's, it's basically... A snapshot of what my week looks like so say for instance I have an appointment um, I would put it on here as well okay guys so that's pretty much it I, I just want to show how I was using those so I'm just gonna pop these back in my planner so when I have some more time I'm going to write out all of the weekly tasks here and this is pretty much going to be a brain dump um, I might start the, this sheet before I actually start planning um, for the actual weeks over here. So I think this is a good idea to be like a brain dump and then attack kind of like a schedule. And then I'll go ahead and plan this with you guys. I usually film this on Friday when I'm not in a busy rush uh, of life. But this week coming up, I'll be doing um, the, the next week, I'll be doing that on the Thursday because I'll be leaving for Red Deer Saturday morning. And Friday is just going to be crazy busy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that I'm really going to enjoy this planner. Um, the only thing is, I'll link these pens down below. I've been using this so much that the tip is, it's not fraying, but as you can see, it's a bit, when you first buy them, they're really hard and they write fine. But after you use them for a while, they tend to break down a bit and the writing becomes bigger. I have had these for about three years now though. So I might be... I might be buying a new set. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, my mom is here and I, I know there's talking in the background. I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Click on the bell button. Share the video with a friend if you know someone who would enjoy this video as well. And we will talk to you guys next time. Bye, friends.